What's that, baby? My fiance and I are gonna talk about our K1 visa timeline. So here it goes, right? Well, we've been engaged since July 10, 2018. We've been in a relationship since January 10, 2017. So yeah, so like, so we're just gonna go ahead and start off with the, uh, the K-1 visa timeline. So it's been nine months since from, it's, I started the petition on December 8, 2018. I sent out, well, the way I did, I, the, way I did the, uh, the petition, I, I went through rapid visa. So, if you want to know more information about Rapid Visa, I will put some links down in the, in the description. Then, so yeah, so I'll continue with the story. I filed the petition. There was like a combination of the K-1 Visa and the Adjustment of Status. I'm not gonna do the. I'm not gonna go over the Adjustment of Status on this one. That's gonna be for. That's gonna be saved for another part. So. I did the petition on July, no, 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 December 8, 2018. Excuse me. And I had to gather up some papers and stuff. My fiance had to uh, send, send me some papers with a signature on it. Once I had all, everything, the documents that we needed, and all the photocopies of everything, I mailed out this, um, the documents on June, no, no, why do I keep saying July? That's the, sec that's the second batch of the video. December 28, 2018 was when I sent all the documents out, including the cover letter, whatever it was, and the front cover letter, whatever it was. So I sent those documents out. And December 31st, 2018, Rapid Visa had received the, the documents. And on January 4th, 2019, they, Rapid Visa sent the documents to USCIS, which stands for United States Citizenship Immigra and Immigration Services. And on January 9th, the USCIS received the, the documents sent by Rapid Visa. Then on January 11th, the notice of action, notice of action one or no one, that came was on. Uh, I came in. Then on. April of 2018 was when I received the second notice of action, notice of action two. And then, and then one month later, around May, we I received I received two embassy notices. Well, I received the embassy notice at the end of April, but then around May, at the middle of May of 2019, was when the NBC case went to, straight to the U.S. Embassy in Manila. And then my fiance's appointment for St. Luke's was scheduled on June 3rd. 2019. So for June 3rd and June 4th, then so she was she went to the um, U.S. the St. Luke's Medical Center in Manila. Like on June 4th, like I would say it's part like the X-ray had to go into thorough research. Although her, the blood test was negative and the, what's that? 
the vital signs was good. So they had to go to thorough research of the x-rays and like, she had to do like a spooking test. Spooking test for July, no, for June 6th, 7th, end of 10th. And then we have to wait two months for that, for the results to come in. So on August 7th, when she went back to, August 7th, 2019, when she went back to St. Luke's, yeah, St. Luke's, thank you. To St. Luke's, the x-ray test was negative. And then we scheduled, then I, then we scheduled for the um, U.S. Embassy interview, yeah, the U.S. Embassy interview. And of course, the interview was, of course, he passed the interview. There was, it, the US, the, uh, the U.S. Embassy interview was on August 29th. And then on September, what I believe. Yes, yeah, September 4th was when the visa, the K-1 visa was ready. And then on September 6th, was when the visa was visa on hand. Then after that, so three days later, she went to the CFO for the the CFO appointment to get the uh, CFO stamp and stuff. And then she and then she flew out of Manila. She flew from Manila to Los Angeles on September 12th. And then later on that day, after she went to the point, the uh, U.S. Customs and Immigration and stuff, everything was approved and stuff, she was admitted into the United States. So that way we could get married as soon as possible. And then later on that day, on September 12th, and she flew from LAX to New Orleans. Now, now she's here like she arrived in the Orleans like September early in the morning on September 13th around one o'clock one o'clock in the morning when she arrived. So, so like it's been three days since, since she's been here. Like, like it has been nine months since we've been patiently waiting. Like if it wasn't for that. Two month delay at St. Luke's Medical Center. She would have been there around late June at the earliest, early July at the latest. Okay. What matters is that she's here now for me. as soon as possible and then then our next step would be into the adjustment of status so there's no telling when we will have a timeline for that so like so if you have any questions on about the the K-1 visa process or any Concerns like with rapid visa, like I said, I will see at least about rapid visa. If you want to know more into specific details? Excuse me. So I'm just telling you like what we know for like what we know and and about our process. It's like if y'all have any, you, you want anything, anything to say, baby? You sure? Yeah. Okay, man. And if you have any questions or concerns, leave comments below. And I'll do my best to answer them. Like, I can, I can only tell you what I know. And we out. Bye.